Hello everyone, this is Stand Up bringing you another video on lying. We know that when I did the video a while ago, I asked the question, is lying a social issue? Well, lying is a social issue. So I want to bring you another video and I hope that you enjoy this video. But for most of you, it will resonate with you that there are some people that you have experienced that have done a lot of lying and they're still lying and they're still participating in the lies. And we, when we look at social media and the downfall of how lies play in people's lives and how it ruins other people's reputation and lives, then we can see the, that lying is really a social issue and things are getting worse. We're actually in a truth crisis. But honesty is a very expensive gift. Don't expect it from cheap people. And we are aware that the media plays a big part in fake news. They like to spoon feed you lie after lie after lie. And, and on that spoon is a lot of fake news. They like to sugarcoat to appease the public in what they want you to hear. They display several narratives that is a danger to our social and cognitive health. The truth is under attack and social media channels are not going to do the vetting for you. We must implement our own code of ethics. Seek out the truth rather than confirm your belief. We're in a truth crisis. Journalism and media play a big part in lying. It is up to each of us to vet what we post for truth. It is up to each and every one of us individually to pay attention and check the facts. When you see inaccuracies repeated by politicians, journalists trying to find the truth, and through social media messages, the lie eventually becomes the truth, not the truth. So if you're not careful, the newspapers will have you hating the people who are, believe, who are being oppressed and loving the people who are doing the oppressing. Lying is a social issue. Lying is an untrue statement intended to ease social relations. See, you can't stop a person from doing what they want to do. They'll start lying to you to continue doing it. But here are some words the liar uses. To be honest, to tell you the truth. Let me be clear. The fact is, believe me, like the Me Too movement that wants us to believe all women, even when they're lying. Liar, liar, liar. Pants is on fire. Lying is a social issue. The lie is a big social problem because people didn't like to say the truth, or rather, they don't want to tell the truth. They are so accustomed to say a lie that they say the truth becomes hard. My question is, are you lying now or were you lying then? Lying and credibility. At least I can trust you to spread terrible lies about me. The problem with lying is that it makes you wrong. Anyone who knows the truth then immediately knows, at a bare minimum, that you said something that is not true, also known as wrong. The shock to credibility extends to even to denials. But there is the psychology behind lies. To establish perceived control over a situation by manipulating it. They might experience embarrassment, humiliation, insecure. They lack confidence and usually low self-esteem. It's a defense mechanism, seemingly prevents them from being vulnerable, not to open up and reveal their true self to another person. They lie to themselves. And there's the role that lying plays in society. It is part of communication and a form of social behavior when interacting with others. It is a statement that he or she knows themselves as false to others to whom he or she wants to perceive it as, as true. It is seen as an interpersonal failure because it damages trust. It is believed to be one of the hallmarks of a relationship. Lying to protect the feelings of another per person 
appears a necessary act. Misplaced empathy or thinking it helps. They blame others or place blame on others without taking responsibility for their actions or being accountable. Yeah, you know, the butler did it. That's right, the butler did it. But how to spot a liar? Liars avoid questions. They increase evasiveness. They switch topics in the middle of the conversation. Ask questions of their own to stay in control. There is no clear benefit. They are still broke and struggling for all the lies they have told. They portray themselves as the hero or the victim. They sometimes believe the lies they tell. Survivor of lies. The stories they tell are usually dramatic, complicated, and detailed. Drama is a direct result of covering up one lies because they couldn't stand up and be honest in the first place. can we understand people who lie? Because a lie has many variations, the truth none. A compulsive liar lies because it serves the person in some odd way. They take comfort in lies. Telling the truth just doesn't feel right. They will bend the truth to fit their own needs and desires. They might even have a personality disorder or narcissism behavior traits. But we must arm ourselves against viral lies. We must become our own fact checker. We must be aware of the share. Practice thinking twice before believing or sharing a social media story. If it is not a credible news agency, chances are it is fake news. Note the writing style when visiting a website. Is it poor spelling and grammar? We owe it to ourselves to do everything we can to discern what is fact and what is fiction. Know the difference between propaganda for the sole purpose of spreading the lie. How to recognize a fake news story. Let's go over the steps. Read past the headline. Check what news outlet published it. Check the published date and time. Who is the author? Look at what links and sources are used. Look out for questionable quotes and photos. Beware. Confirmation bias. Search if other news outlets are reporting this. Think before you share. But many would rather believe a lie because the truth requires change. Even when the facts are presented, they don't want to be right. They like the idea of lying. Shame and humiliation is at risk. It takes time to restore trust. People think they are smarter than what they are. They don't want people to know they participated in lying. They will experience a loss of credibility and integrity. But the question is, why keep lying? A lie travels faster than the truth. Lying for material things, for my new Prada shoes, mm-hmm. Fame, people don't want to hear the truth because they don't want their illusions destroyed. And fortune, a lie gets halfway around the world before the truth has a chance to get its pants on. And then there are the false allegations. Lies ruin lives. It is hard to recover from lies. It ruins families, friendships, and relationships. The liar has to keep lying to cover up their original lie. The lie will keep on giving. It threatens people's self-worth. It erodes trust in relationships and society. It is cognitively depleting. Aren't you tired of your lies? You can go around the world and keep on running, but the lies will never leave you as long as you have not came forth and told the truth. But what can we do? Hold them responsible. Make them accountable for their lies. When they start being prosecuted and facing judicial legal ramifications, 
they probably will think twice before they continue to bring false allegations and lie on others, and especially black men. You see, God hates lies. The Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in people who are trustworthy. Telling lies about others is as harmful as hitting them with an ax, wounding them with a sword, or shooting them with a sharp arrow. But there is good news. I want you to know there is something to do on how to stop lying. Recognize lying is a sin. There is no future in lying. It does not profit anything. As a matter of fact, some of you are still broke and chasing false riches. Apologize, acknowledge, repent, and ask God for forgiveness for lying. Ask God to heal you from your brokenness so you can stop lying. He can do a work in you. Ask God for deliverance. And don't be afraid to trust him to do so. And when you know you're lying, slow down. Take caution. Think about it. Do not lie. And if you're lying right now, stop. Be trustworthy. When you stop lying, it becomes your past. When you keep lying, it becomes your future. Whoever trusts in his own mind is a fool, but he who walks in wisdom will be delivered. Tell yourself daily, I can be honest. By showing I am truthful and trustworthy and not lying, cheating, or stealing. Copyright Disclaimer Section 107. Fair use is a doctrine in the United States copyrighted law that allows limited use, copyright law that allows limited use of copyrighted material without requiring permission from the rights holders, such as for commentary, criticism, news reporting, research, teaching, or scholarship. I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share the video. And I pray that this video resonated with you in some kind of way because a lot of us have been lied on and continue to be lied on. And then we see the lies that have been told in the R. Kelly situation. It lie after lie after lie. And we know others that have lied like Charlemagne. The lies just continue and continue and continue. But share this video again, because we want the word to get out that people do lie and there is false fake news out there. And we should do our research before we share the, the video or share the story, or go and repeat the story through gossip. We should do our own research before we put something out there that's not truthful. Again, thank you all for watching, and God bless you all on today.